spark plug gaps. Uh, what, what, kind of spark plug, what kind of spark plug did you get, sir? Uh, the NGK. Oh, uh, no, 98. You got NGK for uh, is it get uranium or which one did you get? Laser uranium? Which one? Uh, I don't remember. I think it was like TR55. TR55. Oh, yes, it. Uh, they're gonna be kept at point zero five four. So zero point five four. All right. Zero point zero five four. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for your time. Not a problem. So you have a good day. You too. Thank you. Right, bye bye. Bye bye. All right, you heard it here, everybody. O'Reilly said 98 Ford Expedition 5.4. This is a 5.4 VA. The correct gap size is 0 0.54. All right, let's check if I have it. And these are NGK. AGK, wait, well, oh, don't mind it. I think water got into there. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys that the first video of this NGK TR55. So it's 0 0.54. So let's check. Let's check. Okay. I think it's close. I think we have to open it a little bit. Oh. Let's see. One. Oh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This is going to be right here to give. Zero, fifty, four. If I open it, I could always hit it back. Let's do a check. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Right there. Right there. That baby line. And this is the metal 55. All right. We got it there. Oh crap, I think I opened it. Damn it. Give me one second, I'll hit it. Not the. Not the well, no, I can close this. And this is. There we go. Right there. Now we got it. I'll just pull it back out. There we go. Bam. I always like to put NACs on them, so that's up to you guys if you want to put NACs. But don't put it in there, just put it around and around. Too much just makes it easy for next time when you replace them So you can see everything. Oh, you gotta love four. Oh, come on, right there. Yeah, right there. 
set the key. Right. Oh, if you guys have no, I'll get. Right there. All right. What you do to install it and not drop it? Don't grab your socket. All right. Oh, and before you install it, I should have showed you this. Look at me, just playing with this spark plug. No way, this ain't the correct socket. Nope. Where's the other guy? Oh no, where did I leave my spark plug to? It's not these, not these. No. Holy moly. Okay. Oh oh. Oh oh. Where did I put it? <laughs> Give me one second, everybody. Where did I put my spark plug to? Oh, what a level. These not these are not it. Way too big. Um Well I was working this in the daytime so I'm not surprised. Oh there it is underneath the truck. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't know the spark plug socket too, but here it is. This is the one. It doesn't say that it fits perfectly right there. And the way you want to install this? The way you want to install this truck is with a magnetic tool. So you're not, you don't have dropping it in the truck over there. Oh, I'm a dummy. Look at me. I had it all the time in front of my face. The correct tool is a 5.8. Five, five eight power torques. Grab your magnetic tool. Uh. It actually works. There we go. Just gotta get, get it correct. Come on, sit in the block. It works.
Let's see. Maybe because I'm not using it, the extension long enough. Oops, or you guys can't see. It's like fishing. Come on, baby. I hope the gap doesn't go, but This is the one thing you don't want to worry about. Wait, no, 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 you do. Oh. Hey, this is a good thing and a bad thing about this magnetic tool. There's positive and negative to using it. out of the way hmm I don't like the way it feels Ah, uh, it feels rusty in there. I'll give you an update. And you go. Could even use my hands. Sorry, you guys can't see. Not enough room, so. I'm gonna have to use both of my hands, so. Hold on for one second. Sorry about the beads. All right, just hand tight it. Nothing too extreme. Just make sure if you feel you put it good, just loosen it and tie it back up. There we go. Not too much. 
And Shazam, she's in. There she is. Cylinder two, misfire complete. Spark plug and all of that. Oh no, not two. Okay, for here. I got this from O'Reilly. Here we go, Master Pro Ignition Coil. It already comes pre pre lube in there. Just plug it in and just push it down in there, and that's it. Wait until you hear pop. Okay, I'm gonna need both of my hands, guys, so wait up for me. You can never do this with one pair of hands. Alright. Oh, I think I I'm having doubts, so let me Oh no, we got it. When you tug on it and you feel like Feel like some pressure is building up, and you did it. It's got a feel. I don't know. I'm telling you, it, it's like try to pull it up, and it feels pressure like it's already on the head of the spark plug. But if you have any doubts, let me know. You can see better on your car. It's gonna be, it's like this because well, the rubber, and when you put the screw on, it's gonna feel much better. So let me get that screw on. Same tool, get a magnet. This is where a magnet's gonna save you the most. Sometime and not all the time. Then you put just hand in there, and bam, it's in there. Oh, just be careful of everything. Great trucks, but ooh, they just needed more room space. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Swivels and extensions are gonna save you a lot on this job. You might get lucky. Since I'm over here on number six. All 
this is where I need a swivel, so give me one second. Swivel seven. I was basically using this, a socket seven, but no, you need a swivel. So give me one second. are you gonna be your friends swivels to tie them back up the, the ignition coil you're gonna need a swivel seven there it is the new one give me one second no, I think which is blind Same thing, just make sure you tighten it, don't over tighten it. No torques, no nothing required here. It's not like you're gonna leave it here for life, you're gonna change it again. Look at her rock solid. Plug everything back. Ah, uh, here, yep, yep, yep. Let me see. I think I might have. Did I twist it or no? Oh, yes. Yep, I did. <laughs> This job requires a lot of patience, so everybody have patience while you're doing this. Both hands again. This job requires both hands and both hands. Both hands. Bam, we got it. Oh, there we go. Everything's good. Boom, boom, boom. She's ready to turn on. First, now you gotta connect the battery. And here's a job I use: swivel seven with an extension, five eight socket spark plug ah. magnet tool and a ratchet with an extension because it's gonna require or not just normal small rat in section in section blue oh, I need air extension and this is you're gonna need some other tools like to remove the if you have the engine cover you're gonna need it and everything so let's connect the battery and see if she starts
always connect the positive first. No, negative, negative. No, positive. Hey, no. Somebody correct me in that. Not too tight. See if she starts. Whoops. Somebody's gonna have a leak. Oh no. If you guys don't see this, please like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. But she will start, alright? Looks like the battery lights about flashing, so give me one second guys. Battery light. All the battery lights. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Always gotta let your baby do everything she gotta do. the Uchiha Crest. Oh man, I should have walked. Uchiha Crest. Chiha Chris and all my stickers. Ah, you guys saw this? You Chiha Chris everywhere. This was Sasuke's garage. Yep, I need to get a a bigger stand so you guys can watch better me. I will get a stand. I just I'm this is my first time recording a video this long. Two parts. And the reason is why we changed the ignition coil because she had a cylinder two misfire. So. Hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned and learn a little more. And no revenant while it's cold. 